I want to re-explain division in number base. Remember, in the last video, I kind of told you how you can know when or if a number is smaller or bigger than another number in base 2. For example, if I have 1, 1 in base 2, and I have 1, 0, 1 in base 2, and I ask you which is bigger, um, definitely this is bigger because this is three digits. So it's bigger than 1, 1 in base 2. This is bigger. But if I have 1, 0, 1, and I have 1, 1, 1, both in base 2, now they are the same number of digits. So you have to take it digit by digit. 1, 1. Now the next digit I have 0, 1. 1 is bigger than 0, so this is bigger than this. Do you understand? Let's take one more. If I have 1, 1, 0, and I have um, 1, 0, 1, which is bigger? both three digits, so we take it digit by digit. So we have one, one, I have one, zero. So this is bigger. I hope you understand because division in number base needs you to understand this simple concept first. Now, if you understand this, let's take an example. Remember, we call this the divisor and this is the dividend. Now we have this sign, and then the dividend will be inside one zero 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 one one, and then I have one one one. Now let's do this. So we have three digits. We pick the first three digits. One 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 in one zero zero. Now if the um, number within this square root sign is less than the one outside, you put zero on top. Why, if this is bigger, you put one on top. Do you understand that? So you're always looking at this number here. If it's smaller, you put zero. If it's bigger, you put one. Now let's go. Is one zero zero bigger than one one one? No, it's smaller. So I put zero on top. Do you understand this? Zero times one 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 will give me zero. So let me clean this below. So I have zero, then I subtract. If I subtract, I'll be having zero minus zero, zero. Zero comes down, one comes down. So I bring this one down. So I'll be having one, zero, zero, zero. One, one, one in one, zero, zero, zero. Obviously, this is bigger because I have four digits. So I'll be having one, one, one in one, zero, zero, zero. One. 1 times 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, minus 0 minus 1 is impossible. I borrow 1 from here, this becomes 0. When it comes here, it becomes 2. I borrow 1 from here, this becomes 1. When it comes here, it becomes 2. I borrow 1, it becomes 1. When it comes here, it becomes 2. So I have 2 minus 1, 1. 1 minus 1, 0. 1 minus 1, 0. And then 0. So I bring 1 down. Now, so I have 1, 1, 1 in 1, 1. 1, 1, 1 in 1, 1. Now, definitely, this is smaller because this is two digits. Now, because this is smaller, I put 0 on top. 0 times 1, 1, 1 gives me 0 minus 1 minus 0 is 1, and then 1 comes down. So I bring the last one down. So now I'm having 1, 1, 1 in 1, 1, 1. They are equal. They are the same thing. So I put 1 on top. 1 times 1, 1, 1 will give me 1, 1, 1. So I subtract. So I'll be having 1 minus 1, 0. 1 minus 1, 0. 1 minus 1, 0. Now I'm left with 0, 0, 0. So there's no remainder and there is nothing left in the dividend, which implies that my answer is 0, 1, 0, 1 and which can also be written 1, 0, 1 in this two. Now, the reason for that is that the 0 at the beginning of a number is useless. So if I have 0, 3, it's the same thing as 3. If I have 0, 400, it's the same thing as 400. I hope you understand this. So remember, if the thing that is within the um, symbol is less, you put 0. If it's bigger, you put 1. Do you understand? Let's take another example. Remember, this is the dividend, 
and this here is the divisor. Now let's do this. So we have one one zero zero zero, and then we have one zero zero. Now let's do this. One zero zero in one one zero. Now obviously this is bigger, so I put one. Then one times one zero zero will give me one zero zero. I subtract zero minus zero is zero. One minus zero is one. One minus one is zero. So I may not put it there. I bring zero. So I have one zero zero in one zero zero. They are exactly the same thing. So I put one. One times one zero zero will give me one zero zero. I subtract. I'll be having zero minus zero is zero. Zero minus zero is zero. One minus one is zero. So now if I bring down the last zero, I'll be having one zero zero in zero 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 zero, which is zero. Zero times one zero zero will give me zero. If I minus, I'll be having zero 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 zero. Now remember, I don't have any remainder, so it means that my answer is one one zero. Don't forget to put the base. I also, I should not forget to put the base in the question. All right, so if you do understand, let's take an exercise.